Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Els Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my top five easy end of game basketball plays that you can run at the youth level. These are all going to be against a man-to-man -man defense because generally speaking you have a very good chance of playing against a man-to-man -man when you've got maybe 10 to 15 seconds left in the game. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. So in this first play, we're going to have player four. He's going to go and set a screen for player two. Player two blue is going to use that screen. He's going to be popping up to the free throw line extended, or he could be also going to the elbow. At the same time, we're going to be having player five. He's going to be setting a screen for player one. Player one is going to be using that screen. Once player one gets off that screen, player five, he's going to roll towards the basket. So now we have two different options. We now have a possible player two who could be open for a three-point shot or a mid-range shot. We also have player five who may be open for a layup or player one may be open for a three-point shot as well. So we have a couple of different options here and that play should really only set you back about 10 seconds. So if you have about 15 to 20 seconds left on the clock, you can get a shot from distance or you can get a layup. And if you miss these deeper shots, you still have five-ish seconds left for player five to box out player five red so that now he can get that rebound for a nice quick easy layup. Meanwhile, I want player three, once these shots go up, I want player three crashing the boards and I want player four rolling off of his screen, then going in for the rebound as well. Essentially, you have a very good chance of getting the offensive rebound if you have three players in a triangle around the basket. Okay, so now in our second play, we're going to be running the three out, two in. Basically, I'm going to show you a couple of different offensive sets from different structures in this video. From there, we're going to start with player three. He's going to be screening down for player four. Player four is going to be using that screen. He's going to be looking for his shot right around here. If he's open for his shot, definitely have him take it and have player two crash the boards. Now, if player four is not open and we have player four red following through and this was not a very good screen, what's going to happen is player three is going to be clearing out and we're going to be now having player four and player five we want to clear out as well. We're going to have player four setting a screen up top for player one and this will be a screen and roll. So we may have a shot for player one and we may have a layup option for player four. Again, first option is that mid-range right here with player four before he sets that screen. However, if he's not open, this is a nice backup option. Now, in this next set, we're going to be having the horns offense. Now, lots of youth basketball teams tend to use the horns offense uh, at roughly the high school level. So this is a great play for you guys if you're running the horns offense. And this, or, uh, this offense is really great. So we're going to have player 5 setting a screen for player 4. Player 4 is going to use that screen. If he's open right here, definitely hit him up for that mid-range shot. But he's going to continue through if he's not open. And he's going to be then setting a screen for player 3. Meanwhile, player 5 is going to be setting a screen down for player 2. And that's going to allow player 2 to cut towards the 3-point or mid-range area. And same as player 3. It's going to allow him to cut to two different areas of the court as well, where, wherever they're more comfortable. Whichever one of those two players is open, player one is going to hit him up, and that's going to be a shot. Now, we want three players at least crashing those boards to get that offensive rebound in case player three misses. Now, if we're at the four, if we're running the four out one in offense, this is another great play for you. We're going to start with player four setting a screen down for player two. Player two is going to use that screen, and he may be open for a shot. Now, if that is our number one option if we only have five or ten seconds left. However, what we're going to have now is we're hoping to get the ball at least through to player two. Even if he's covered, we want player two to get that ball. The reason is player four is going to continue his way down and he's going to be setting a screen for player five. Player five is going to be using that screen and he's going to be popping to the high post. Meanwhile, we're also going to be having player one setting a screen for player three at the same exact time. Now, one of these two players is open, so let's say player two passes to player three for the shot. We need player five crashing, player one crashing, so we can have three offensive players 
trying to get that offensive rebound. Again, this is another play that can be run with 15 to 25 seconds left on the clock. Now, with the 1-3-1 offense, this is our fifth play, and this is a fantastic play. What we're going to start with is feeding player 4 the ball in that high post. We're then going to have player 5 set a back screen on player 3, and player 3 blue is going to be cutting baseline, and he's going to end up basically right in front of that rim. If he's open, hit him up for that easy shot. If he's not open, let's say player 3 red is covering him, player 5 is going to clear out, and we're going to have player 3 then back screen on player 2, and player 2 is going to make the exact same cut. This play should take you as much as 20 seconds to run, because on this second cut, that is basically the 20-second mark. So player 4 can get him the ball for that layup. If we're running short on time, let's say neither of those screens worked, and we still have 5 or 8 seconds left on the clock, we can have player 4 set a dribble handoff screen with player 1, and player 1 can then barrel right towards the rim for a layup. Now this is our last chance resort. This is not something that works very well. However, those first two screens generally right here, those back screens that happen, are generally the screens that work the best. And those are the screens where you will probably score most of your points off of. Now I hope that these plays help you win more games at the end of your games. And I hope to see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day. So I'll see you guys there.